squared uh, circle or the octagon here in the RGV. That is the uh, the one spot you want to hit up is rgvcanvaswarrior.com. Okay, now, now he's not answering. Rattler coach Bart Bickerton. I, I believe, Jake, do you have a, a location on where Coach Bickerton is? Because I, I think right now uh, he'd probably be mowing the uh, left field wall, getting ready for uh, for baseball well, 2013, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's supposed to be fishing till 9, and uh, so, um, you know, we kind of tentatively put it at 9.15. <laughs> So he said uh, he'll he'll probably be cleaning fish at that time. So I certainly hope so. That's always a good day when you're uh, cleaning the fish. If if you're you know yeah. sending that out there, that yes, I I will do the radio interview, but you'll have to uh, excuse me every now and then as I'm cleaning the fish that we've uh, just brought in from the sea. So hopefully we'll go we'll get uh, Coach Bickerton on to uh, discuss his his good day fishing because let's not forget a bad day fishing is better than a good day working. Coach Bickerton joining us here in the huddle right now. Coach, how long have you been uh, waiting to get this fishing trip in? I lost you. You uh, you went out there for a second. How how long had you been waiting to get this fishing trip in? Ah, uh, shoot, since uh, probably the beginning of baseball. <laughs> so that it could have waited a few more weeks. So if everything would have gone right, yeah, that would have been real nice. We had it planned for uh, June twelfth, so but uh, we ended a little bit earlier than we wanted to. So. Got to go out. I've been out the last couple of days. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, tell me about uh, Saturday's game, and, and I hate to make you relive it. Uh, it's not something that we enjoy doing around here, but tell us yeah. what happened. Well, uh, you know, I, I, I thought we <clears throat> I thought we out really outplayed them on Saturday. Uh, Trace comes up and, you know, gives up a home run to leadoff hitter and pretty much shut them down after that. I, I, I want to say they didn't have another hit till the sixth inning or something like that. And, uh, you know, we, we just, the whole series, we didn't get a hit when we needed to, and they did. You know, that, that was the difference. It was a game of inches. We had a kid at third base get thrown out, bang, bang, play. So it, 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 was, it was a tough one. Both games were tough. Is it safe to say the bats went cold this past weekend? Yeah, but, you know, that has a lot to do with Carroll. They, they've got a deep pitching staff, and, uh, you know, both those, all three of those kids that throw, you know, threw well. And we, we definitely hit the ball well against Eagle Pass. And, you know, I think it was a combination of Carroll's pitching and probably us not hitting as well uh, this past series. Knowing the or the experience that you have, uh, Courtney Hawkins, is he the real deal? Uh, you know, he's he's definitely a specimen. You know, he's he's the guy that you, you go to the ballpark and you look around and definitely just, you know, the kid that stands out just size-wise and everything else. He looks like a man. You know, there was a lot of people that said that. Uh, but you know, I've, I've had kids that have been just as skilled as him. So, you know, he, he's got the size, he's got the strength and everything else going for him. But, you know, baseball skill wise, we, we've had kids in the Valley that have been just as good, you know, guys like Jaime, uh, we had Tucker Oakley here. who's kind of the same kind of ball players as Hawkins, but you know, he's, he's definitely a talent. You know, we kept him to one hit. Of course, the one hit hurt us on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I, I know he, he had a big series, I guess, against uh, Alexander this this past weekend. I think he went seven for eight or something like that. Wow! So he really lit him up. Yeah, he did. Uh, speaking of Jaime, I, I checked last night. He wasn't the guy that went against Johan Santana, but the uh, the Mets picked up their first ever no hitter. Right, and my team, the Padres, they're still waiting for one. <laughs> uh, we're the <laughs> my San Diego Padres were the last ones waiting to get a no hitter. So. Maybe if you pick up Verlander or something, that they, they may happen they, soon. They don't have the money for that. They don't. They don't pick up guys like that. It would be nice. It, it would be good to see him. How often do you keep in touch with the with the Jaimes and with the Jorge Cantus that that have been through your program? Uh, you know, Jaime. I usually text him once a week or something like that. Uh, so you know, I'm in contact with him all the time. You know, telling good luck and telling you know great job and things like that. A lot of it is, you know, asking for tickets, and not for me, but for for everybody else, which right. you know, I don't like to do very often. Uh, but he'll he puts up with it, and uh, it's just something that we know is going to happen. And uh, so I, I just had to call him actually yesterday, try and get some tickets for our trainer, because he's heading up there to St. Louis. You, you find out how many people end up uh, driving up to St. Louis and in that area. Uh, one time a. Ended up with the Cardinals because we, you know, I get people saying, you know, we're going to make a trip up there. Can we go ahead and get tickets? It's, and during the summer, it's like once a week almost. I get calls from people. Wow, maybe it's yeah. time, and maybe it's time to get a direct St. Louis flight going. That's right, and we need one straight out of 
straight out of McAllen, straight into St. Louis. It, it, it'd be nice. It, it would be a good thing. Now that you know you, you've seen uh, your your playoff season come to an end, uh, you had the good fortune of having a kid get picked up by Texas Tech, right? Right, and it was it was a it was a big surprise. Uh, what had happened is Texas Tech's old staff uh, got released, you know, right right at the end of their season, and the new staff that was coming in, Coach Talbert is a guy that had wanted Eric for a long time, and. You know, just lucky for Eric, he got the job, and one of the first things he did was, you know, call up Eric and and ask him to go ahead and come over and sign at Texas Tech. So, you know, we we were already set for Eric to go to Alvin, which we're kind of, you know, it's great, but we were kind of disappointed that he didn't he didn't get to get, get a chance to play at a bigger school, and then Texas Tech steps in and you know gives, is going to give him a chance. And Eric Gutierrez is the is the young man that we're talking about. We had you on three weeks ago, and I believe that you said because of his statue, you know, he wasn't uh, one of the taller guys. Um, if he had, you know, if he had the height, he'd be a guy that many D one schools would be after. But because of his statue, uh, he wouldn't be so sought after. And, and to have Texas Tech come in and swoop him like that, that's got to be a great feeling. Yeah, it you know it's great. You know, you just got to give some of these kids a chance, and, and you know they'll they'll show what they can do. Most of our kids that we've had, you know, go to Pan Am, things like that, they've ended up being some of their better players. So, and we've got Tucker Oakley over at Tulane. Uh, Jake Gotro called me yesterday about Eric. And, you know, so, you know, we, we've definitely got the kids in the Valley that can go play. They just need to get, you know, they just have, they need their chance. And once they get there, they need to stay there and perform. And then it makes it easier for everybody else. Gotro wasn't one of yours, was he? No, he was at uh, McCall Memorial. Yeah, he was at Memorial. Okay. Yeah. I remember seeing him play Bronco ball and, and seeing, you know, at the Bronco age level, you knew that this kid had some talent and he, he had some skill that would definitely take him places. Yeah, he's another one that you, you watch play and said, yeah, this kid's a step above. This kid's definitely going to be able to play somewhere. And I, I want to say he went to Tulane, ended up in, the, I think he was in the Padres organization yes, sir. for a while. Also. Yes, sir. So, you know, he, he, did, he did well for himself. Did very well. I, actually, I believe he wrapped up his career with the uh, Fort Worth Cats with uh, Chad Treadaway. Right, and that's another guy. You know, we've we've sent a lot of guys up there to play with Fort Worth. Also, Tim Haynes and guys like that. So, you know, we've we've had some good ball players come through Sherryland. We've we've been very lucky. Is is it the fact that you know we we start them so young? Is it the travel teams? Is it the fact that? You know, you always look for that X factor. I think climbing is a great thing. I don't understand why we don't have uh, winter ball down here on a regular basis. Is it that factor that kids get the ability to play all the time, no matter where they're at? What, I mean, what is the uh, what makes our Valley baseball players so good? Yeah, it, it's definitely the climate. We talked about. I think we talked about this the first time. Uh, being able to play year round makes a big difference. You know, those kids, you know, kids from Ohio and things like that. They're, they're even in the gym up until, you know, third, fourth week of baseball. So it, it makes a big difference. And, uh, you know, our, our kids, you know, size-wise, it hurts us. But definitely being able to play year-round has made a big difference for our kids. All right, Coach, how was the uh, the fishing? What did you what'd you bring in today? Uh, I got a couple of trout. Yesterday was a lot better. So I don't know if you guys brought me any luck today. Yeah, we we tend to have that. That's why we didn't have you on the show last week because we we wanted you to keep playing this weekend. But uh, you know that that happens every now and then. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to uh, to keeping an eye on Sherryland Rattler baseball and and uh, good luck. And I wanted to thank you guys for you know traveling with us and everything else. We, we had a good time with you guys, and you know, we appreciate everything you guys do. I, I had a lot of high school buddies of mine that actually got to watch the game, so they they were pretty excited. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're glad to be a part of it. It's a great run, and we appreciate you letting us be on the ride with you. No problem. Thanks so much. All right, thank you. Head coach Bart Bakerton of the Sherryland Rattlers joining us here in the huddle on 840 Fox Sports Radio, brought to you by our peeps at 956sports.com. Obviously, that's where the uh, high school buds got a chance to uh, watch the games and, and join us for the ride and uh, and be a part of the celebrations and, and unfortunately, the defeats that we've seen along the way. Yeah, but, you know, if you're going to lose a game and then, you know, your kid gets picked up by Texas Tech. You know, you got to feel kind of good about that. It's kind of like, you know, uh, mixed blessing, I guess. Exactly, exactly. And when we had talked to him a, a few weeks back, he said, you know, it's a shame that he doesn't have the height because he'd be a great, you know, pitcher or a second baseman, I believe, is 
is yeah. what he is as well. Uh, he'd be a great pitcher, second baseman for any D one oh, no, program. Uh, right fielder. He's right. Well, he's right fielder. I don't know if he's a you know, but you know, you never know. They just put right. necessity. Like Trace, he's a catcher for UT, or he will be. But he, right now, he's playing shortstop. So. Yeah, they, I mean, you know, you you've got those guys that that can play any position. They they can fill the hole no matter where it's at and and move forward with that. All right, we're going to take a time out. We're going to pause for comments. We'll come back. We'll have more of the huddle right here on 840 Fox Sports Radio.